Hey everybody, it's Grant, and today I am here with Gary from Pokemon, and we have something that Gary is actually, hum I'm humbled to be, to be the second person to bring this to you. I think this is going to be very cool. Yes, but it's actually the uh, very first interview that I've done about it, and not only are we doing an interview, but we're going to be reacting to this video, so I'm reacting to myself. Sort of, right? Exactly. Is something like that. And so what we're actually doing a video on right now mm -hmm. is the third BGS-10 Charizard. So Gary, whenever I saw Logan Paul walk out to go fight Mayweather with that beautiful diamond-encrusted BG BGS-10, Shadowless first edition. Not PSA. Already. Oh no! Yeah, no, the good stuff. Not the Gary not, stuff. Not the one of 123, but the one of three. And there is no black exactly. labels. That's the gold label. That's the the best there is. The yes. best that there is. Yes. I had to text you. I had to ask you. Yes. And you you held strong. So we got a good friendship. And you didn't you didn't you didn't spill the beans. Well, you know, look at it this way. Uh, Logan and I had a good friendship, and he didn't tell me. For six months. That's true, too. When he knew I was looking for it. Because I messaged you the day it happened. Yes, so. I know. I know. So there, there was a lot of secrecy involved here. Sure. And of course, there was a purpose, you know, for it. Mine was I promised not to. Sure. Say anything. Sure. Logan's was because he didn't want to take a chance of it leaking through me. Oh, he was about maybe, to roll maybe, out with yeah, yeah. maybe I would tell my son, Pokemon Prince. Or something, and then say, "Don't tell anybody." And then he might have told somebody else, and, then, and just, then somebody else, and then pretty soon Logan would be on on my phone, you know, yelling at me for not for uh, letting it out. He said, "That's why I couldn't tell you." So I got a question. Yes, and I want, I want the absolute raw feeling when you saw that on the TV. What was that? When I first saw him wearing that. You were at Graham's house. I couldn't yes. make it because I was in Louisiana. Yes. What did you, what did you? Yeah, I was at Graham Stephan's house, you know, which is going to come up in this video. Yeah. I was at Graham Stephan's house, you know, where we, where we were just barbecuing and having a good time to watch the fight. Yep. And that, and when that happened, it was almost like slow motion. It was almost like he came walking out in slow motion. And I, and I was moving in slow motion. I was thinking in slow motion. And maybe for the first time in my life, I was truly shocked. Where shocked to the point where nothing seemed to make sense to me. Where I had flashes slowly going through my head. How? How did he not <laughs> tell me? How, how did I not have a better idea. Let me go check my, my storage locker to make sure it's still there. Yeah, right. <laughs> Did I, you know, was I dreaming? Did I actually sell him one of mine or something? This can't be true. But it, it all it was all happening in slow motion because I was shocked. Gary is going to go ahead and talk about some things that he wishes he had said. He's going to talk about some things that, that he felt uh, that didn't get said correctly. And we're going to make sure that you have the full story here, right here on my channel. Yes. So Pretty cool. And also, please, go subscribe to Gary King Pokemon. It's just King Pokemon on YouTube, and it's real King Pokemon on Instagram. So please go do that. Link in the description. Here is his Instagram, and here is his YouTube. So without further ado, Gary, I say let's get into today's video. I'm excited. And if you haven't seen this video, you're in for a treat. I always had the biggest collection. That's probably the world's number one Pokemon collection inside this case. I never did grow up, so I continued with Pokemon for the last 17 years. There's no other grade in the tent. Beckett grades so much harsher. You know, pretty much the two reasons that people grade cards are number one, to keep their childhood memories protected. The other reason would be for value's sake, because the difference in one number, like between a nine and a 10, can be a 10 times value. Difference. I didn't mean to stop the video, because yes. A friend of mine and I, uh, his name was Eddie Brenda Schultz, E. Birdman. Him and I had a decision to make when Pokemon started to tail off a little bit. 
in 2002, 2003, we had discussions every night for hours trying to figure out what we could do to get the hobby kicked off again. We decided on grading, and so we went with PSA. That has maintained to this day. You're going to find about eight to ten times more PSA than you would Beckett's. Today, I believe there's about 125 or less PSA 10 first edition based Charizards. The equivalent to a PSA 10 Charizard would be the 9.5 Beckett. Beckett is gem mint. PSA 10 is gem mint. That's the equivalent. Of you know, one thing I should say there is that that is the closest equivalent. Sure. It's not really the equivalent because if you have a choice between a 9.5 Beckett or a PSA 10, you take the PSA 10 100% of the time. I agree. But the closest equivalent would be the 10 to the 9.5. And then always, of course, the 10 gold medal. Yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> which we're going to hear about real soon here. I love it. <laughs> this is awesome. So getting something like that in pristine condition. I like my boy Mewtwo. Considering yeah. what they go through. Two pristine 10s that I have. I got the first one quite a number of years ago, you know, in a collection. Uh, oh, wait till you finish it. Yeah. Graded. Then the okay. Yeah. That, I want to, if you don't mind, go for it. Give me a second. Uh, I misspoke there. I was thinking of a different card with all these transactions and with it being, you know, that many years ago, I had a different, uh, a different uh, memory about what that, what card that was and what that, okay. What the truth is there, that first one I actually bought on auction, on eBay, for $11,800. Now, I don't think I've ever revealed that. Already slapped, though. Already slapped, oh a gosh. Beckett 10. I won it on auction for $11,800. What a steal. And now it's, it, it, you know, it's it all depends on what you're thinking, but as of right now, there's only three in the world, million dollar card. So, and, you know. And I would bet you'll never see another one. That, you can't. They, they, they don't make them like they, you got a pack for that. You right, know? yes. Second one I got, I got a phone call from Lee Steinfeld, Lee Unhart, and he told me that he found the girl who had the second one and that she was interested in selling. We made the exchange, I got the card, and then Lee and I made a, a video on it. And I knew there would never be another one. The pristine 10 and he got this one. Both of them. Look at that. Right there, guys. Nuts. 2020, when the pandemic hit the early part of the year, suddenly a lot of people had extra time on their hands. You know, where they could sit at home, they could, you know, look back and, you know, those memories start flooding back in. Logan Paul was one of those guys because Logan Paul was a big Pokemon lover as a kid. I have to admit, I have to admit that I was not familiar with Logan Paul. Sure. In that. I got that. that yeah, sure. I, I was not, I, I did not know about his, about his past, about what he does and all that. When he contacted me and I saw he had uh, 18 million followers or something ridiculous, I thought, well, he doesn't do, he doesn't do, you know, the dancing stuff. Yeah, he's <laughs> not a TikToker. No, not a TikToker. Uh, I said, uh, you know, this is, you know, I guess this is, uh, you know, pretty big. And then I asked my son, and my son said, this is a very big deal. Big deal. That he, so I was not aware of Logan Paul's antics in that, in, uh, so. Uh, Logan didn't want to impose. He said, listen, Gary, I'll just come in by myself with, you know, with one camera. I said, no. I said, no, everybody, everybody can come in. Well, that's perfectly fine. But the impressive part was him even considering that, thinking that, that he didn't want to impose on me. And I started showing him my cards, thinking to myself, this is a lot to do about, you know, just coming over to check out a guy's Pokemon collection, right? After seeing my cards, seeing those two Becca 10 Charizards, along with all the other Charizards, he asked me first, he said, you know, Gary, do you mind if I talk to Devin privately just for a few minutes? He just, he just considered everything. He didn't want to impose on me. He didn't want me to feel bad. I said, that's fine. Do whatever you want. He asked Devin. He's Pokemon Prince 
brokering some deals. Yeah, that's right, Pokemon Prison. Now, one thing I didn't say on here, and a lot of people that didn't see this originally, they should know, he actually took my son Devin, Pokemon Prince, into a separate room in the house. So privately, you know, they left the living room, they went to a separate room, closed the door. So I had no idea of what they were discussing or anything. And uh, so I didn't mention that here. I just went immediately into like, you mind if I talk to Devin? You know, and then he's talking to Devin. Well, that was all done without my hearing. I, that I didn't know what was going on with that. So, Devin, you want to share what y'all were talking about over there? Yeah, um, we came over. Do you, do you want to come over? Devin. My man. Do, do, do you mind if I have a word with you? Of course. In, in, in private, is that cool? Uh, not to, not to. Go, go. Is, that, is that all right? Yeah. Uh, Are you thinking about, like, buying out of each? Well, that's, bro, that's what I was going to I think you could offer him a million right now. And he BGS. wouldn't, he wouldn't even do it. He wouldn't do the BGS, but. Like, do you think he'd move on a PSA time? Yeah, so, you know, Logan asked to, to speak with me really quick. I had no idea what he wanted to talk about. We uh, go to the side room, and uh, first of all, he said he loved my family. I said I love his family, and um, he kind of got to what he kind of pulled me to the room for, and he was um, most concerned about, you know, not being disrespectful, you know, because he knows how, how much your collection means to you, and um, I was able to, you know, talk to him a little bit, and, um, you know, I said, you know, it won't hurt to ask. Kind of caught up a little bit after that. You know, talked about a couple of things. He asked Devin, well, do you think your dad might sell one of the other Charizards, one of the other PSA 10 ones? And Devin said, uh, I really doubt it. He started, he started talking uh, in a real personal way, looking me right in the eye. It wasn't the type of thing like you walk into a Macy's to purchase something, right? When he looked at me, there was a passion in his eyes, a, a true love and interest for what he was offering. I immediately sensed that this is real. It gave me pause. I actually started thinking about it. And so he said, does that mean you're gonna sell me one? And I said, I remember when he leaned in, he's like, Gary, is that a yes? Yeah. <laughs> I watched that video. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Hundred percent no. Yeah. I didn't. No. Not. No. I didn't think he had a chance. You know. And as they show in the video, you know, I was kind of hesitant on what he was asking for. You know what? I seriously felt at that time, and I think I've mentioned it, that at that point it felt like it was more important to him than it was to me. It's crazy. It was really as simple as going? that. Yeah. That that he seemed to care more about that item at that moment that I felt. I feel a little misty, even this moment, sure. you know, even thinking about that. Uh, but I truly felt that. Suddenly, Logan comes walking out to the ring wearing a BGS 10 first edition base Charizard. I almost fell over. <laughs> almost everybody in the room, they all know me real well, turned and looked at me like that. And the things that were going through my head is, why didn't Logan tell me? <laughs> and then I thought, where did he get the card? There was absolutely no question that that card he wore to the ring was my card. When you're grading cards, there can very often be a gray area where something falls right between grades in the grader's own mind, in that person's own mind. Plus, you can get different graders. You can have two different people look at it. One might have kicked it up, one might not have kicked it up. Logan didn't even cross my mind with any of this, in that because I knew the cards, obviously he took the card, he submitted it for a crossover, and he was able to get it upgraded, you know, from a PSA 10 to a Beckett Pristine. And yes, that's the same card I tried to do the same thing with. Only in And mm -hmm. one of the top three I thought were gonna have a chance to get that 10, and I didn't quite get it, you know, over that, over that little gray area between grades. And Logan was able to. Nuts. I did ask mm -hmm. Logan later, and, and he said, Gary, I couldn't tell you. He said that, you know, it, I was just planning this, this moment for so long to wear this. You know, if I ever got to fight Mayweather, that I was going to wear this card. And I, 
I didn't want to take the chance of spoiling uh, the surprise. I get a lot of questions. People say, well, how does that make you feel? You've got you to be sick about that. i got to tell you the truth. I couldn't be happier because it was Logan who got it. The same guy that sat across this room from me looked me right in the eye with a, with a, a look of love for these cards. He said, you could try to trade me your two for this one, and I wouldn't do it. That tells me that what I believe that night in this room, that it meant more to him at that moment than it did me keeping it. One of three in the world is in my prized possession. Ever since I got this grade at a 10, the momentum in my life has been crazy. This is my good luck charm, this is my prized possession. The uh, interest by the influencers and the celebrities uh, have brought in a when he, when he said that in me, because I, I was, when I did my video, I was searching through the internet. When he said that, I, I just knew. I was like, I, when I got this grade. But at the same time, some of Logan Paul's ability to vastly collect a bunch of maybe raw first edition Shadowlesses and send them off, he could have got lucky. You know, somebody just put it away in the binder. But there's so many things going through my head trying to figure it out. And, and at the time, you as well, until he told you. Which is Plus, remember, he pulled... Weeks before that, he uh, pulled yeah. a couple Charizard yeah. first edition base. And then imagine if he might have bought it from one of the people, the people. Who, who pulled it. And who he pulled it for. I, I, so it, it could agree. have come from a number of places. Yeah. But it's crazy <laughs> stuff. I'm still speechless over the whole video. I'll tell you something. As I watch that, I'm almost forgetting we're even doing a reaction yeah, video. I'm just, I'm, stay, I'm enjoying it. it. It's, it's, it's like the drama. The drama itself is so real that it's making me, it's making me a part of that where I, I'm forgetting that that we're even discussing. <laughs> exactly. I don't even think about what I want to react to because I'm, I'm pulled into the moment. And when the video is yeah. done so nicely, there's, mm -hmm. there's no, there's, there's not much left for us to do. King Pokemon, <clears throat> okay, yes. friends. Any other thoughts before we close out today's video? I'll go first. Yeah, okay. um, I'm happy Logan got the card, and he totally, he's the type of person that deserves it. In my opinion, I don't see how BGS could possibly- Cross grade. Yeah, cross grade, knowing that that card's been. Um, well, they may not have known that that's the same card that I tried to cross grade. Yeah, and we're, when we're talking about this amount of money, um, you know, I'd hope for them to. But I'm glad I like Logan a lot. I got some. I got to know Logan, and um, he's got a beautiful card. He does. Yes, and I'll. And you know, for me, I actually appreciate you, Grant. Thank you. Because this has given me an opportunity to straighten a few things out in this very important video you know, that I may not have had a chance to otherwise. So I appreciate the chance to clear up a few of those little little things that, that one time I misspoke, a few of the, the feelings that I was having in that, uh, that didn't come across right in that video. So I actually appreciate you giving me this chance to talk about this. And, and maybe, maybe uh, this will start a trend where uh, critiquing your own video, you know, uh, becomes a thing, who knows? I love it. I mean, I, I don't know how this is gonna play out, but this is something I'd wanna watch. I and, uh, I'd love to see somebody like Mr. Beast critique, sit there and critique his own video. So, well, here where I turned on the laser beams, I should have done this way, or, wouldn't you love to see that? Yeah. You know, that'd be so cool. That's, that's where we learn the most. And speaking of Mr. Beast, me and Gary are actually gonna have a collab coming out where King Pokemon and me did a collab on Mr. Beast. So, all that being said, that's it for the video, guys. If you enjoy videos like this, please power up that like button, hit that subscribe button, and notification bell. Also, go to Instagram for Real King Pokemon for Gary. It's right here. And then also, King Pokemon on his YouTube channel. Show him some love. He has amazing videos. They're very entertaining, and he shares his love of the, the hobby as well as all of his knowledge that he's he's amassed, and, and, and there's no one that knows more. Even when you went on Pawn Stars, how epic was that? So all being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I will see you on the next one, and remember that we all 100% believe in you. We know you can do anything that you set your mind to. Never let anyone any differently. Have a fantastic afternoon. See you on the next one.